What's up, guys? Morning, day three. This might be the last battery. So, and I don't even have the uh, microphone on the camera. But I'll see if I can find another battery. It's been a good trip. We are going to um, do some fishing this morning. Then probably back up and head up before noon. Get to the cars before 2 o'clock. But uh, I had a fish fry last night. There's more fish this morning. And I think we're going to have to take some fish out with us. So, anyway, great trip, great fishing. Thanks for watching. If I find another battery, I'll do some more recording. Peace out. Yeah, you're burning holes in my tent. I got a, I got a hole in my fly now. They got a rager of a fire going. You're trying to smoke me out. <laughs> we got some battery now, boys. She warmed it up. She was showing zero before. Oh, no, she's low battery again. <laughs> but. Let it sit in the sun. Warm it up. Day three. We're still here. So much fish to eat. Oh, so much fish. More to catch. I think we have fish for lunch <coughs> today. Fish for breakfast. And I think Cod's gonna be eating fish for dinner. Fish, fish stir fry. Says I have some battery again. Morning, day three. Camp's getting packed up. We're gonna do some fishing. Before we uh, fry up the rest of our fish. <coughs> And then hopefully head out around noon. So stay tuned. Oh, it wasn't filming. <laughs> oh no. Hey, what's up guys? So, my battery's kind of going in and out. It's doing some funky things. I just tried to shoot this scene, but I didn't realize the camera was off, so. It's a gorgeous morning here, as you can probably see. Mike was proud of himself this morning. We got a fire going with just an ember. Um, Batteries going in and out, so if this is the last video, thanks a lot for watching. Hope you uh, found it interesting, funny, hilarious. It was cold, so I think we're gonna have to invest in <clears throat> some warmer bags. And that will just what that will do is it will cut down on the amount of clothes that we need to bring to sleep in, and uh, we also brought a wool wool blanket just to kind of kind of as a ground sheet. But I think with a better <coughs> sleeping pad in a better sleeping bag. I don't think that'd be an issue next time. So we're just going to spend the morning trolling, trolling around, fishing, canoeing, whatever, 
enjoying the day and maybe head back to the car a little bit later. Of course, the best one is always the day you're leaving. So, thanks a ton, guys. Subscribe, like, comment. Do you? You do you. Thanks a lot. Yeah, I think I think we've been sitting here for 30 minutes filming that. What's that? Yeah, it might be too small. Yeah, I would do uh, I would do spoons. Stay spoons. Stay spoons. Big spoons, small spoons, medium spoons. Williams warblers, GB maps. Spoons. Spoons were biting yesterday. That's that's too big. That's that's too big of a spoon, Mike. Spoons were biting. Blue was biting. I don't know what was with blue yesterday, but if your lure had any sort of blue on it, you're just you're getting bites. Unless your name was Mike. Well, actually, I guess that's not true. You had a uh, Mike got a fish yesterday. Mike never gets a fish. <coughs> Mike gets one or two, but uh, this was one of those two. and that was one of those two. And it was because what what color did you get it on, Mike? Blue and silver. Blue and silver. So yeah, blue was the color of the day. I don't know why, but Todd was swearing by it. I don't know what I'm going to do today. Maybe, should I do a bottom bouncer rig? Maybe I'll just do a diver. Yeah. If the spoons aren't working, maybe I'll just troll a diver. Yeah, he was trolling uh, Taylor yesterday. Yeah. So you might, I, I think they're going to be deep now that the sun's sun's up. So. Sun. Don't we'll strike anything out here, but never know. Yes, sir. Other fish. Oh, that's, that's kind of gross. No, that's another fish. That's another fish. <laughs> yeah. I, I think it's, I think it's better just to bring them in the boat like that, Mike. So Mike's trying to get his lake trout here. I'm sure you can see it. <laughs> Reaching behind you in a canoe ain't exactly. No, it's not easy. <laughs> Calm down. All right. See that? Nice lake trout. We're putting them back. We have too many fish. See you, fella. That is so gross. He's got another fish lost in his mouth. <laughs> that was awesome. I just want to note that I just caught two fish, technically. <laughs> Big <laughs> chop down on there, so. Looked like a decomposed perch or something, so. Nice. Not bad. Still a battery. Yay. More fish for lunch. Have a good day. YouTube. It's been a long war, it's been a tough war. But, of course now it's a beautiful day. It's beautiful. Just burning up the last of our firewood, because why not? Uh, here's a really fun thing that you can see in this view over here. So, a um, bit of irony involved here. More of a dick move, really. Whoever came here last time and decided to carve nature into the side of this tree um, actually killed the tree. So, if you're coming out to any of the uh, provincial parks, or just anywhere in general, don't be a dick. Don't carve anything into these trees, especially, you know, something so dumb as this. Leave nature the way it is. We know it's there. We know its name.
here I am thinking I got the biggest shred of my life. Oh shit. In reality, it's just a big piece of driftwood. God damn it. What's up, everyone? It's just pretty well the end of the trip. Oh, that's a little foggy. That's fine. Um, great trip. Surprised my battery's lasting this long. This morning it said it was zero percent, and then it kind of kept jumping around because it was so cold. So just kind of trolling here now. It's probably probably only about 20 or 30 minutes away from the access point. None of us really caught anything trolling on the on the way back to the car, but. The afternoon really isn't that good for trolling anyway, so the early afternoon that is. It really picked up yesterday. Uh, Wayne and Todd were just, it's like every five, every five casts, it was, uh, it was a brook trout they got on. So that was really cool. I've never seen a trout feeding frenzy before, but that's what happened to us yesterday where they were just, they were nailing everything that we kind of threw in this bay. So that's how we caught all of our brookies for the weekend. As you can see, there's, there's motor boats in this lake. There's a guy waving them down. Oh yeah. Yeah, one of the two. <laughs> He's doing jumping jacks. Oh, the guy's coming. He's coming over to him. So, yep. Back to civilization now, motorboats. Ah. Just turn around and go back. But I want the pizza. And beer, oh my God, oh my goodness. We did run out of beer. Go yeah, to the guys that brought in the beer store. <laughs> I think everyone uh, dipped into their rations a little bit early on the first night. Because <laughs> it was so cold. Was the only way to really stay by the fire was to drink excessive amounts of beer and, and whiskey, so. Probably could have had more productive days if we were able to get up earlier, but it was just so cold. I didn't want to get out of my sleeping bag in the morning. And I was pretty sore this morning from all the portaging yesterday. Like, to give you an, I don't know, to give you an idea, we probably did about five kilometers worth of portaging yesterday, and we probably covered about 15 or 16K, I think, just uh, between all of our trolling, so. And it was tough. It was worth it though. Again, thanks everyone for watching. If you like this video, please like, subscribe. Again, I have a bunch more trips planned for the spring and the summer and the fall. And then I might even get into winter camping with old Mikey here, so. Please like and subscribe.